Hey everybody, it's Deepak Shukla here from Get Paid to Tutor. This is a Tutoring Tips and Tricks Series 3, and this is day 6 of 30. And today we're going to be talking about making sure your students don't expect you to know everything, because you shouldn't. Now, this happens particularly at um, a degree level or higher. If you're an expert in the area of English, it's not realistic that you're going to know every single one of Shakespeare's sonnets or a particular quote from a Charles Dickens novel or, you know, I've read all of Flaubert's work apart from Madame Bovary. So, what I want you to not do, and this is the key bit, when your student asks you about a specific area, and if we're talking about, you know, math, a mathematical based subject, there might be a particular equ equation or formula if it's physics or whatever it might be, don't act like you're guilty. Don't act like you should know it and you're not meant to know it and don't get flustered or hot and bothered under that kind of, sit well, in that situation rather than under that stress. So in that situation, say, you know what? I'm not actually familiar with that equation. I need to be reminded. Why don't we have a look at it together now and I can give you some answers. So do you see how I tried to deal with that there? There wasn't a tone of guilt in my voice. I was quite measured in my approach and I suggested that we look and research together, again showing the student how to use initiative when they are coming across old tasks that they're as of yet, you know, kind of forgotten. So, don't feel that you should know everything because your students shouldn't expect it, and if they do, certainly don't behave in a guilty manner. Thanks so much, this is Deepak Shukla.